Now, I know in the world of journalism, in the world of social media, um, in the world of reporting, there can be quotes from different articles, from different people, from press conferences um, that can be put on full display for the world to see. Um, and people will take a quote without context and just run with it, just take off with it and magnify it and make it a lot bigger than what it really needs to be. Um, I've been guilty of that in the past before to where I, I may have read something that I've seen and I said, whoa, wait, wait a minute. But then you turn around a little bit later and you read the whole thing with context and it's like, oh, okay, well, that wasn't so bad. And then there's sometimes when you can take a quote, you can read it and be like, whoa, wait a minute. And then you read the whole thing, the context around it, and you're still like, whoa, wait a minute. But with this quote from Lamar Jackson, I've seen so many people take it like, really? It, it, it wasn't serious at all. It wasn't like he was saying, oh, yeah, I'm doing that for sure. But I've seen so many people just blow it up. And I was just, I was actually a little bit surprised because I'm like, there's no way so many people are like seriously running with this and like making this a thing, are they? But they are. What it was, Lamar doing a presser, he was asked, you seen guys like Diggs go to Buffalo, Tyreek to Miami, uh, what weapons have done for quarterbacks? How eager are you to work with three new guys? The three new guys who the Ravens got, that being Zay Flowers, Odell Beckham Jr., Nelson Aguilar, and, it's, and then everybody else who's coming back, like Rashad Bateman, Devin Duvernay, Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely, James Prochet, Tylen Wallace. So he was just asked about his excitement for working with his guys. And his response was, I'm very eager, to be honest with you. Uh, I want to throw for like 6,000 yards with the weapons we have. I'm not an individual war guy. I just feel like we have the weapons uh, to do it, like to make stuff happen, to, 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 to get the job done this year. Uh, I can't wait to get rolling. So, so many people took that like he was literally saying, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw for 6,000 yards this year. That's what I'm going to make happen. I saw articles on it. I think, like, I mean, I, I know nobody would be surprised, but, but I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk, he put an article, love it. I've seen um, fans from other teams, uh, they were talking about it heavy. Like, again, it, 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 it was just Lamar really just showing excitement, like showing ex his excitement for the weapons that he had already and the new weapons that the Baltimore Ravens added. But a lot of people took that excitement as, oh, he, he's literally going to th think he's going to throw for 6,000 yards? What? Is he crazy? Does he know what he's talking about? And I'm thinking, what, really? This is, this is what we're doing now? With, with that, that, that that's, that's what people decide to take and run with? So it's, it's like, I, I don't know. People just, sometimes people just, they, 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 they surprise you. They, they, they really do. They, people can surprise you. Um, but at the same time, when you really think about it, again, like we talked about in this, this world of media, social media, uh, the instant hot takes and whatnot, the reactions, and um, when you think about it, it's really not a big surprise that people would take that and run with it, and especially with it being Lamar. Like we always talk about, when it comes to Lamar Jackson, people are just waiting. Wait, waiting to see what he has to say about whatever it is. They're waiting to try to twist his words around, try to create different narratives and whatnot when it comes to a Lamar Jackson. As we have seen before a lot <laughs> over these last five years, we have seen so many different things be twisted and turned and made to be what they they really aren't. But this this is yet another one. Um Again, just Lamar just sharing his excitement over his new guys. And people were like, oh, you know what? Oh, that excitement. Oh, no, that's real. He really saying he's going to throw for 6,000 yards. It's like, oh, come on now. Come on, baby. I, come on now. What are we doing? What's going on here? But anyway, I just, um, again, I, I was just a little, a little disappointed by that. But again... Not shocked, not surprised, and I guess it is what it is. 
Um, it's like Lamar can't say nothing. He can't say nothing because it's, it's going to be some people that's waiting with excitement for Lamar to say, hey, whatever he says, they're going to be waiting with excitement to see what he says so they break it down or whatever. But then there are going to be some people who are waiting with negative thoughts, preconceived negative, negative connotation. They're going to add a negative connotation to whatever he says, no matter what it is. He could be like, man, I, I, um, I really love the kids in the Baltimore community. Uh, I really love how they all, they, they, they treat me with a lot of respect. They show a lot of love. And somebody going to end up being like, oh, he only loves the kids in the Baltimore community. Well, what about the kids in the Florida community or something like that? And it's like they, they, people, will, people will do that stuff. Um, but it is what it is. And it's going to be what it's going to be. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> the people are people, man. Um, but I know Lamar, this is no uh, shocker for him at all that stuff like this happens. I, I know it's no shocker for y'all at all that stuff like this happens because stuff like this happens. It's been that way for a long time. Um, that's why it's so important. Uh, and, and again, like I said, I, I've learned from personal experience with this over the years. And it's, even with, with this, with personal experience, with, with having done this, uh, over the years um, is very, very important. Context is very, very important. It's very, very important. And sometimes things can get lost. Like if we see a clip, we see a, a, a 30 second clip from a 30 minute interview or something like that. We could be like, oh, man, that's all right, right, right. We, we could do all that. But then come to find out, oh, wait. Oh, that's what was said before. Oh, oh, and that's what was said after. Oh, that 30 second, that didn't show how that person really felt about exactly what they were talking about. That was just a, a sample of it. Oh, okay. Ah, I got it. Now, it's not going to be like that every single time because there are times when a, a 30 second clip of like a 30 minute conversation, it can be accurate. And it is like we talked about earlier, it's not just, um, it's not somebody just running with the 30 seconds and being like, oh, ha ha, I'm going to make this bigger than what it is. Sometimes it, it can be exactly what it is. And, and that, that happens a lot. Both, both happen a lot. But it is, is, it's very important that context is looked at, the context is examined, because context is key, man. It's key and it's so important. But I know in today's day and age, um, we, we get lazy. We all get lazy. Uh, and it's about instant gratification and whatnot. So people see the, 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 the headlines, people see the... Um, just that the the clips of the, the the small clips of something that's much larger, and they're like, oh, they 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 take it and run with it. So, anyway, um, like I say, it is what it is. So, keep context in mind. Try to at least, because it can make a huge, huge, huge difference. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, and we out.